everyone so the next topic which we will be discussing here is about the denitrification so let's start with the topic that what is denitrification the definition of the denitrification is it is the final stage of the nitrogen fixation cycle so the, it is a step which is at the end of the nitrogen fixation so the next is denitrification that what is denitrification so denitrification is basically a process by which the nitrogen compound it is released back into the atmosphere how they are released back they are released back by converting the nitrate that is no3 minus into the gaseous nitrogen so they are released back into the atmosphere so that is called as the denitrification step now when this step is being carried out so this step particular step is being carried out during the absence of oxygen so this step this particular step is being carried out during the absence of oxygen by the theo bacillus species such as clostridium bacteria which is present in the soil so in this process the genus of the gram negative bacteria degrades nitrate compounds present in the soil and aquatic system into the nitric nitrous oxide that is n2o and nitrogen gas which are even actually released into the atmosphere so this is the process of denitrification now in this particular process there are a large number of microorganisms that are involved so therefore it is also called so this process is also called as the microbial process this process is also called as the microbial process this biogeochemical process is one of the main responses to changes in the oxygen concentration in the environment so this particular process is responsible for the changes in the oxygen concentration in the environment now denitrification is a universal process for both the terrestrial it is responsible for both the terrestrial and the aquatic ecosystems which occurs naturally under the extreme concentration in managed ecosystem that is marine fresh water environments in tropical and temperate soils in waste water treatment plants in manure stores etc so this is about the denitrification now how does this process goes on so as you can see this particular diagram so first of all i have told you that denitrification is the last step of the nitric nitrogen fixation cycle it is naturally occurring microbially mediate, mediated process where nitrate is used in the form of energy for the denitrifiers so as you can see in this particular process the nitrogen fixation here is the there are nitrogen fixing bacteria which convert the nitrogen which is present in the soil into the nh3 further there are nitrifying bacteria which converts it into no3 and then there are denitrification bacteria which gets converted into n2 so if i see the equation for this then in this particular process soil bacteria converts plant available soil nitrate that is no3 minus into nitrogen gas that is n2 that was that are lost from the soil so denitrification produces several gases that is the nitric oxide nitrous oxide and dinitrogen so this is the equation for the denitrification process that there is a nitrate then there is a nitric oxide after that nitrous oxide and finally the nitrogen gas has been released into the atmosphere now where does this denitrification process occurs so this particular process is a microbial process as i have told you in the first slide as well this this is a microbial process of removing the valuable nitrogen from the soil and releasing the greenhouse uh, 
gases such as the nitrous oxide and trophophoric pollutant which is nitric oxide. So the biological cycle of the denitrification involves a cascade of enzymes which reduces nitrate to the dinitrogen that is the N2. So this is what is the process where, where the denitrification process occurs. Now why, uh, why this process is occurring? So why the denitrification process is important and why it is occurring? So when the oxygen supply in the soil becomes limited there are a variety of bacteria which uses the oxygen instead of nitrate for the respiration. So, dinitrification most commonly occurs in wet, moist or the soil flooded with water where the supply of oxygen for respiration is reduced or limited. So, there are some fung fungi that can denitrify but they are also considered insignificant. So, that is why the process of denitrification is important because oxygen supply becomes limited and there are variety of bacteria which uses the oxygen instead of nitrate for the respiration. So it commonly occurs where it commonly occurs in the wet, moist or soil flooded with water where the supply of oxygen for respiration is reduced or limited. So this is why that is now, when does the denitrification process occur? So, the denitrification process is considered as one of the most active process in the regions where the water-filled pore space in the soil exceeds about 60%. So, when there is a ex when the water-filled pore space is in the soil exceeds 60%, then this process occurs. So, the end product gas depends upon the soil conditions and the microbial community. So when the deficiency of oxygen increases, these microbes perform its function by converting the nitrate into the nitrogen gas, that is the N2. For the purpose of nutrient management, the denitrification process in, uh, results in the loss of a valuable nitrogen, but the impact in the atmosphere will Value, but their impact in the atmosphere will always vary. Now, final is what are the factors that affect this process of denitrification? So, the complete process of denitrification is being influenced by many factors. One of the main factors which influence the process of denitrification is the organic content in the soil. So, the organic matter available within the soil is the only source of nutrient for the bacteria. Therefore, the soil bacteria requires a source of readily available organic matter either from the plants, from the soil or from other additional sources as well. And the other factors, so these are some of the other factors which are the soil pH, the soil texture, then temperature, oxygen content in the soil, moisture content in the soil and concentrate of the nitrate in the soil. So these are some of the factors that affect the process of the denitrification. So yes, this was all about it. Just these are some of the references. Thank you.